This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone. Well, our venue today is a true football monument. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Milan up against Inter. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Ismael Benassa plays alongside Sandro Tonali in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. Inter's lineup is as follows. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Hendrik Mikitarian plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Sandro Tonali. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. And the no-nonsense clearance. Martinez. Barella. Dumfries. Not a good pass. Brahim. Davide Calabria. Well, so many reasons to highlight Lautaro Martinez, not least because he can be so effective. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his head inability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Delivering it. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Lukaku. Lukaku! And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes!
Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And the strike from Lukaku is absolutely devastating. The keeper just couldn't react to the power of the shot. What a goal that is. Davide Calabria. Oh, the perfect ball now. How about this? Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Lukaku, Federico Di Marco, Martinez, and he's through here. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping! Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Playing it short, into the centre from Mkhitaryan, and cleared away, a corner kick it'll be. Played over. And beyond the last defender, offside. Rafael Leao. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Teo Hernandez now. It's with Diaz. Calabria. Grunic. Can they square the game? Well, he took care of it defensively. Chananolu. Excellent ball over the top. Lukaku. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Being pressed and pressed high. Oh, they have it again. Damian. And it's with Dumfries. Lukaku. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Mkhitaryan. Now with Lukaku. Terrific block. And Milan looking dangerous. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Lukaku, and it's with Dumfries, getting forward, that's well blocked, and that'll be a Milan ball. Olivier Giroud.
That's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku. There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again. The little one-two starts it all off and then through on goal, it just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Sandro Tonali Rade Krunic Davide Calabria Diaz and a crucial intervention inside the box and the referee is quite rightly letting it go oh marvellous save great goalkeeping well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. Trying to deliver it accurately. And clearing it away. Krunic. Able to get a body in the way. Chalanoru. Second half of this Champions League semi final first leg underway. A deft clearance. And Inter might be able to cash in here. Lukaku! Well, unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Mkhitaryan. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Benassa. Tonali with it. Teo Hernandez and Milan moving the ball with purpose determined block oh is he going to be punished here Diaz now this could really lift spirits oh dealt with by the goalkeeper And played short. Corner again. Playing it in. Zero. Zero. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. 
Well, we're into the final half hour. Hendrik Mikitarian. Lukaku. Fluency of movement. Barella. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Martinez. Pretty simple for the keeper. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Taken short. And the cross goes in. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Teo Hernandez. Rafael Leao. And space for them here on the flank. Leao. Could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. And the ball is rolling again, and Milan find themselves within touching distance here. Di Marco Lukaku gives it a go and he'll take efforts like that all day long Martinez top class defending a quarter of an hour remaining here well, what a dramatic finish we could have here. These Milan fans are ramping up the atmosphere now. Giroud. And crossed in there. Well, the goal was at his mercy. Well, it certainly was. He has to score there. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Teammates available. Lukaku. Determined defending. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. Substitution will occur now. Delivering it. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Wonderfully weighted pass. Just the challenge that was required. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Defenders need to cover. And at the far post is Olivier Giroud. And there it is! The Rossoneri level the contest! All even in the derby! A 
Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Mikitarian, Brozovic, and still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Charanolu, now Lukaku, and return to Charanolu, must take the lead here. Oh, there it is! Into take the lead in the derby! It might be the moment that sees them claim the bragging rights. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, after losing a goal, the onus is on Milan to respond in an attacking way. Alexis Salamakers. The final whistle then, the second leg to come, but Inter with the lead after this first match. Yeah, that was a tight game, and I think they just about deserve their lead but it's a slender one, and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final. But in the final analysis, Lautaro Martinez did his job. What did you make of what he put into the game? Well, that was a top-class display, wasn't it? He did everything right. He inspired them to victory here today.